Hello, in this video, we will draw single point perspective view of a square prism of the base side 30 mm and axis height 50 mm. So this is square prism, this side is 30 mm and this height is 50 mm. It is lying on the ground on its base with a face parallel to and 15 mm behind PP. So it is lying on ground. So this plane is ground plane and one face, this face is parallel to picture plane and at a distance of 15 mm from it. So this distance between this parallel face and this picture plane, this distance is 15 mm. Now location of station point is given. This point is at a distance of 40 mm in front of picture plane, in front of picture plane, this distance is 40 mm and this height is given 60 mm above the ground plane. The position of central plane is given. Central plane is a plane which is perpendicular to both picture plane and ground plane and contains this observer's eye or station point. Now this plane is at a distance of 40 mm from the center or from the axis of the prism. That means from the center of this point to this distance, this line, distance of this line will be 40 mm. Top view of this observer I is represented by small e and front view is represented by small e dash. This distance e dash to e is 40 mm and e to e is 60 mm. Now we will draw this in a sheet of paper for that. First we have to draw top view of all these elements. So we will draw top view of picture plane first. When you look from top, it will appear as a line. So draw this line and write this as picture plane. And after that, you have to draw this top view of this square prism. When you look from top, you will see this square shape uh, in which one side is parallel to this line. So draw one square parallel to one side is parallel to PP. Now this distance is 15 mm. Given this distance is 15 mm. Now you mark these points, name these corner points. So there are eight corner points. These are the four top corner points and these are the four bottom corner points. So top corner points I have named as this point as A, B, C, D. So this point is A, this is B, C and D. And these are named as 1, 2, 3, 4 bottom corner points. 1, 2, 3 and this point is now we will draw central plane. Central, when you look from top, the central plane is again a line which is perpendicular to picture plane. So perpendicular to picture plane, draw one line. Now distance of this central plane from the center of this square, from the center of this square is equal to 40 mm. So from this side, you can calculate this side, it, it will be 25 mm. So from this side, distance of central plane is 25 mm. Once you get this central plane, you can draw uh, top view of this observer's eye or station point. So top view will be at a distance of from this plane. From picture plane, this distance is 40 mm. So from this draw one point, which is at a distance of 40 mm, mark this point as E. So once you have completed all this, what we have to do is, you have to join this top view of observer's eye or station point with all the corner points here in this top view. So first I have drawn one line which is joining E with A and 1. And you have to locate or you have to mark all the intersection points. So this is one intersection point. So I have marked this point as A1. Now remember that uh, this line is actually joining A and 1 both. Therefore there are two points overlapping each other. So I, I have marked only A1, actually this point is A1 and 1, 1, both. There are two points here. Similarly, you join all other points, all other corner points I have joined. So this is joined, this E is joined here with B. So this point is, I can name this point as B1. I have named B1, but at the same place at B1, you have 2, 1 also. Similarly, this point is D1. This intersection point is D1. At the same point of place, you will get 4, 1 also. And this point is C1. So here, 3, 1 also. I have not written because of space constraints. You, uh, but you should remember that here, uh, 1, 2, 4, and 3, these four points are also there. Once you have completed this top view, now we will draw front view. Because in front view only, you will get uh, perspective view of this object. So in, for drawing this picture plane, first we will draw this line, which is called ground line. This line is our ground line. You have to draw this ground line, which is parallel to picture plane. Parallel to picture plane, we will draw ground line. But at what location you will draw? 
you can draw this ground line anywhere here parallel to pp but usually we draw at a draw this line at a distance more than uh, some of these two distances that is e dash to e and e to e these two distances and these two distances are here 40 mm and 60 mm so you have to take this ground line at a distance of more than 60 plus 40 that means 100 mm so i have drawn one line this line ground line which is at a distance of more than 100 mm so you can take 105 110 any length you can take if you take more than that then these visual rays will not intersect each other so it will be more clear the diagram will be more clear now you have to draw front view of this square face when you look from front you will get this rectangle just below this just below this you have to draw this rectangle the height of this rectangle is 50 mm it is given 50 mm height and this side is given 30 mm so this side is 30 mm so uh, here uh, what are the visible faces visible faces visible points are this point these one two three and four these four points so this is a b and this is your two and this is one so that way i have marked a dash b dash two dash and one dash these are front view and um, behind this these points are also there so this is point d and this is point c so behind a dash you have d dash c dash similarly behind one dash you have four dash and three dash once you get all this uh, you have to join these points with front view of observer's eye or station point so front view is e dash so you have to mark e dash here in central plane so i have marked e dash which is at a distance of 60 mm from ground line so this height is given 60 mm marked e dash you have to join all these corner points with e dash e dash is actually the vanishing point in case of single point perspective so that means all the sides which are perpendicular to picture plane and parallel to each other all these lines these lines will appear vanishing at this point e dash so what you have to do what we will do we will join e dash with all these corner points so i have joined all these corner points now to get the perspective view or different corner points of the perspective view you have to draw vertical line from these points a1 d1 b1 c1 so from a1 if when you draw vertical line from a1 actually here we have two points a1 and 11 so a1 and 11 so when i draw this line this line is intersecting uh, this line e dash a dash and e dash 1 dash at these two points so these are this point is your a and this point is your one so this is a and this is one two points of the perspective view where we have obtained similarly uh, draw from this b1 vertical line when you draw from b1 vertical line actually here two points you have b and 2 so b1 and 2 1 so this is e dash to b dash and e dash to 2 dash so in this way you are getting two points here one point is this one so this point is your b and this point is your 2 in this way front four points you have obtained now rear points to get other points uh, draw c1 draw vertical line from c1 so here you can see e dash to c dash this point e dash to c dash and at the same time you have another point 3 e dash to 3 dash so these are intersecting at these two points so mark these two points so this point is your c and this point is your 3 similarly you will get other two points that is d and 4 so when you draw vertical line from d this is your d this point is d and this point is your 4 now join this uh, the spaces corresponding uh, faces you have to create now this point is a b 2 and 1 these are joined a a b 2 and 1 these are joined together so i have drawn this line so this is a b b 2 and 2 1 and then 1 a similarly here also you will get these are visible lines once you get this uh, this 4 is connected to uh, this one uh, this one a this is a b c and d so this d is connected to c d is connected to c and this c is connected to 3 so this c is connected to 3 now this point 4 point point number 4 uh, it is not visible that's why i have not joined uh, yet uh, now these sides are also connected so join this now you can see all these lines uh, are appearing to vanish at this point e so if you extend these lines this all point uh, lines will become uh, will converge to a single point now this point is also there so from 4 
so you can see from 4 to d is connected 4 to 3 is connected and 4 to 1 is connected so 4 to 1 uh, this is 1 you are uh, uh, 1 uh, this is your 3 and this is your d so this way you join this since this is not visible you can draw dashed lines in this way this is the final uh, this is the final perspective view of the given square prism these rectangles this square you have to draw very using very thin lines uh, very light and this you have to draw very thick lines so, so that it will be properly visible thank you for watching this video